Welcome to this tutorial on how to make a preview with traditional lights using Laterama's sequencer S5. First, we'll launch the sequencer by clicking on the Windows icon, and you'll scroll to L for Laterama. And we've got a lot of options here. We just want Laterama sequencer, and you can see the S5 in the icon there. Alternatively, you can click on the Windows icon and just start typing sequencer, and it will just come right up. You can click it there. So to create our own preview, we'll go over to Previews on the right and click, and then click on the green plus to make our own. To add a picture to our preview, uh, we'll go to the Background tab and click Set Image, and then you can scroll and f or find, navigate and find your own picture of your house. I'm going to use House Picture, and you'll see that it's kind of grainy and uh, I've got a lot of extra space around here, which I would bet you're, you have similar issues with um, your pictures. So we'll make this image smaller and crop out the extra stuff by just using paint. So go down to the Windows icon again and just start typing paint. And that'll open right up and I'll just say file open the same picture. And as you can see, this picture is way too big. We can resize it by clicking on resize and just put in your own percentages here until it is the size that you want it to be. Do it one more time. There we go. Now, to crop it, we're just going to click on select and select the part that you want, just the house without much extra, and then just click crop. And now we have a much smaller picture without all the extra stuff. So I'll say file, save as, and I'm just going to add a, an underscore crop to the name of my picture. So now we're done here, we can close paint and back in the sequencer, in the background tab, we can click on set image again and this time I'll select house picture crop and now we have a much easier picture to work with. Now the fun begins! We get to put the lights in our preview. I'm going to create three rows of lights. One for the first floor, which will include these two windows, these pillars, a door, uh, lights around the door frame, and two imaginary bushes. Um, and then I'll also make a second floor, which just include these two windows and the top of the porch. And then I'll have um, some lights for the roof, um, which will all add up to 16 lights, so it'll equal one full controller. So first I'll make a bush on this first floor um, by clicking on Add Item. And I'll just keep this default selection, which is create a new prop using one of the built-in shapes or define a custom shape, and click Continue. And here I'm just going to type in the name to be Bush Space 1. Um, and I'm going to have all my first floor lights be green. So I'm going to select green. And since it's just one color, I'm just going to select channel per color because that makes more sense. And since there's just going to be one controller, the unit number is going to be 1 for all of them. And then this circuit or channel number will um, increment, increase by 1 um, for each light that I add. Um, though I'm going to add them kind of out of order from the numbers that I want those to be, so I'm going to end up changing those at the end. Um, so for my bush, I'm going to do lines connected for the shape, and I'm going to have six segments. There we go, so it's a zigzag, so I can make that look like a bush. Here we go, it doesn't look like a bush yet, but here we go, I'll edit it. And there we go. And I, I want this bush to be just a little bigger all around, um, so to do that, I can go to the Scale tab, and I can do um, Change Height and Width, and just click on the plus button, and you can see it is growing bigger ever so slightly. There we go, so that's how I want it to be. So now I know I'm going to have a bush a lot like this on this side, so I can just say Item, Copy. Um, you can see here the name, it automatically increments the 1 to be a 2 for us. And I just say make copy, and now I can just move this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit skinnier since there's not as much space here. There we go. Um, and you'll see not only did it increment the 2 there, but it also incremented the circuit. Which I actually am not going to want the that to be a 2, but I'll keep it there for now until I get to the end of this uh, row. So now I'm going to make um, the windows. 
So I'm going to say add item again, continue, and this time I'll call it window one, oh, with a space. Um, same thing, channel for color, it'll be green, um, but this time instead of lines connected for the shape, I'm going to do window frame and say save and now it's a big window I'm gonna make it a little smaller so it fits over my window there we go and now I'll copy it again for this window so I can just say item copy increments it to two for me make copies and I just put that over there there we go so now I'm gonna make the two pillars so again, add item, create a new prop, continue, and I'm going to call it pillar one. And I'm going to go back to um, lines connected, but this time only one segment because it's just one line. Um, it's again just green. Say save, and then I'll make it fit here. There we go. And then again, just copy it item copy makes it pillar 2 for us and I'll move it right over there we go so now all that's left for this um, for the first floor is the door frame so I'll do add item one more time and I'll call it door frame and I'll still do lines connected but this time with three segments so it can fit over the door it's again green save and now I'll put this over my door there we go so now we have our first floor done um, but you'll see up here it says channel conflicts got a little warning here so let's go ahead and fix that um, I'm gonna put them in order so it goes one two three four five six seven so bush one you can um, edit it by just right clicking and selecting modify um, and here we did the one that one to be a one for the circuit so we'll start keep that the same and next is window one so you can also edit it by double clicking um, and this time I'll change that to be a two save next it's pillar one double click change that to be a three next is the door frame double click change that to four next pillar becomes five and the next window make it six and finally the last bush I'll make it seven there we go now we got a check mark no conflicts we're all set so now that I have the first floor done I'm going to make a group so I'm going to click on add item again but this time I'll select the second option create a new group from existing props and groups and do continue move that down a bit and I'm going to call it first floor and select everything I want everything I've made so far in this group and their arrangement is horizontal stack aligned bottom because they're aligned horizontally um, you'll see here it says checked items should be ordered left to right so that means what's listed first needs to be what's leftmost in our picture so we need to change the order a bit so you can change the order by clicking on one of the items and moving using these arrows to move it up and down so we want bush one right here to be listed first next is window one and then the pillar one and then the door frame and then pillar two finally the window and then the bush okay so that is all set we say save and now we have a group that includes all of them I'll just un undo to move that back where it's supposed to be and you'll see here if I unselect it first floor is the the text is blue to indicate that it is a group as opposed to um, a prop so now that you have the idea of creating your own props, I'm going to use my tutorial magic and create the second floor instantly. So now I have the second floor done. And 
Now I'm going to create the group for the second floor. So I'm going to say add item, create new group, and this time I'll call it second floor. Move that down. And here you'll see we have everything listed, but I only want to include um, the red ones, which is window three and four and the top of the porch. And it's also going to be horizontal stacks. We need to put them in order. So this time you'll see anything that's not checked, the program ignores as if it's not there. So it doesn't matter if these are right next to each other or not, as long as they're in the order in the correct order. So uh, we'll move window three up above the porch and I could move it way up if I wanted or down here, anywhere in here, as long as it's above top of porch, that's fine. And then window four at the bottom. So now that's set. So now I say save and the second floor is done. And here I'll use some more tutorial magic to create the roof. And there we go. Now the roof is done. So I'm going to create another group for the roof and this time I'm gonna select I want to show you something else. You can select everything you want in a group over here. Um, so I've got roof one collect selected and if I hold down shift and click on six then now I've got all of those selected and if I click on add item and create a new group then you'll see that roof one through six are already checked so I don't have to which is pretty cool move that down and I'm going to just call it roof still horizontal and luckily they're already in order one through six okay so now I've got all the lights set up and now I'm going to make a group called entire display that's going to include um, all three groups that I've created thus far so I'll still do add item create a new group move this down and I'll call it entire display um, and this time instead of it being horizontal it's going to be a vertical stack because they're stacked vertically and this time it's a little tricky you know it says it says here checked items should be ordered bottom to top so what's on bottom here needs to be listed on the top so first floor needs to be on top so um, it is there it is and then second floor needs to be between those so I'm gonna move it up here there we go so now they're ordered from bottom to top okay so before we can make this we need to select everything in our display so I'm just gonna select first floor second floor roof and now we can add our motion effect rows and click on add row and there we go okay so now we have one motion effect row so it's all set up for sequencing later so we'll select save now we have our entire display group that includes everything so now we just give it a name which I'll call it house display 2018 and just click save and now we can see in previews the preview we just made is listed and now this tutorial is finished Thank you.